Would you tell parents of an ISTJ to maybe relax a little bit that your kid is going to land on their feet? <laughs> yeah. They're going to find, yeah. you know, even with the adversity that you face, you found your path, which yeah. is really amazing. Now, I know you told me that you struggled a little bit with worry and anxiety and, you know, had trouble sleeping at night and that sort of thing. And um, tell me what that looked like for you and then how you kind of find found a way past that. So I think a lot of, a lot of the, the sleeplessness, um, the trying, it was very hard. It's always been very hard to fall asleep. And I think that just goes back to the fact that my mind is just going, it's always just going. Mm -hmm. Um, I will think about stuff constantly. Um, and of course, when it, it comes time for bed again, even as a child, you're just, your wheel just keeps turning. It's not stopping. What um, kinds of things would you think about? Worries? Everything. It would be worries. Um, about school, school, about friends, about. Yeah. Even though I didn't, even though I didn't have a lot of friends, I still had that worry of, you know, why, why don't I have friends? Why can't I make friends easily? Um, you know, did what you can I compare yourself? Do? Did you compare I did. yourself? I did. You mean, yeah. You know, all the other kids are out with all of their friends and I'm not. So yeah, it was, it was, it was hard, very hard to, to see that and not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, I mean, eventually you kind of just get used to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it was, it, it's very stressful as a child to not have friends, mm -hmm. um, and be okay with it. So mm -hmm. that you felt like you found a way past the sleep issues. Can you tell I us? I do. About I do. That? And I do it to this day um, because I still, my mind still goes at night um, mm -hmm. about everything. Um, but yes, I actually will lay in bed at night and with my eyes closed and I will count backwards from 99. <sighs> and as I'm counting in my head, I, I like try to visualize the numbers. So like when and I'm at 99 for a bookkeeper, yes. a financial, a financial <laughs> yes. solutions person yes. to yeah. count backwards. It's, I love that. <laughs> it's very rare that I get down to zero and focus on just that. Okay. So that way I'm shutting down everything else. I'm usually asleep between the seventies and the sixties. <laughs> that's so that's great. I love that. That's a great tool for parents. And just everything we're talking about is a tool for parents because I, you know, tell parents to help their child understand that they are a certain temperament and to not put those mm -hmm. unrealistic expectations on their child or to have their child put them on their themselves. Yes. And inevitably children are going to do that um, because they're not yeah. as self-aware, but it, it helps for parents to just constantly reinforce that this is this is the way you're made you know um mm -hmm. to talk about the difference between introvert introversion and extroversion and thinking and feeling and all those um differences is really um helpful to know because you are a thinker and 75 percent of women are feelers and so part mm -hmm. of the reason that you might might have struggled with friendships a little bit is because girl drama is not your thing Right. So no. <laughs> tell me what that looked like. So, yes, um, growing up and then even to this day, um, most of my friends were guys. Um, actually, I only have one friend, like good close friend now. That's a that's a woman. Mm -hmm. um, it's just I have always been able to emotionally relate to guys because I don't like. I don't like the drama. I don't like the back and forth girlfriends, the, the, you know, he said, she said, it's just the whole drama that comes along with that. I just, I've never liked it. I'd rather just keep myself out of that. Um, which is why I fell in, you know, pretty easy with the guys because it wasn't about that. There was no drama. It was, you can hang out, you could talk if you wanted and be completely relaxed and drama free. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a big struggle with not being able to be friends with the girls is because I, I, I couldn't relate to that. I couldn't pretend to relate to that. 
Um, so it just being friends with guys was just a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And, you know, your type of feeling, everybody has feeling, everybody has thinking, but it, it comes in a different place in your psychological function. So for you, feeling is in the back seat. Like if it's a car <laughs> example, yeah. feeling is in the back seat and it's yes. introverted feeling. So it's yes. private. Your feelings mm -hmm. are private and you don't mm -hmm. like feeling vulnerable and being mm -hmm. called out to express your feelings or be demonstrative with your feelings. And yes. um, what would you like the world to know about ISTJ women and, and just how to relate to them as far as that goes? Like, um, with that, because it's, it's such an expectation yes, in our society that for women to be emotional. Right? Yes, you know? yes. Um, I want them to know that just because, you know, it, I outwardly appear that I don't care. I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do inwardly care and I'm very sympathetic to people. I understand people and their emotions and how they're feeling and stuff. I'm just not a good person to show it. And one of your other superpowers that you probably don't realize is that ISTJs <laughs> have amazing memories and yes. your mind is like a file cabinet where you're filing away. Okay. Yes. I remember she said she loves the color yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to file that away. And then you show up with this yellow gift for her. And she's like, what? You yeah. know, my own mom doesn't remember that. And so that's a superpower that ISTJs have. They can be really wonderful gift givers because they're thoughtful and they remember these little details and yes. you have practical ways of showing your affection. Yes. Would you say yes. like you're a practical person yes. that gives, can give practical advice. Yes. Filing things um, and the retaining, you know, and memorizing things. I do that very well. I've always done that. Um, and, it, and it's strange because I file away and retain the things that most people wouldn't find important enough to retain. It's like, I can listen to people and I can offer practical, like you said, practical advice. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what <laughs> is real. Yeah. Um, and so you're a truth yeah. teller yes. and that's another superpower that you might not consider a superpower because, you know, in a kid version of an ISTJ, they might seem kind of blunt and yes. Yeah. And, people, and, just, and people take you as being rude. Um, mm -hmm. and it's not, it's not like you're trying to be that way. It's yeah. just, that's how you communicate. Yeah. You just, you would rather just get to the point. Yes. Um, practicality, get to the point, no frills, no fluff. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, kids, ISTJ kids can have a lot of sensory issues because we talked about introverted sensing being your superpower and that you have this wonderful memory but introverted sensing also has to do with being very sensitive in your body being very sensitive in your five senses so being aware of clothing and you know kids with ISTJ and your parents probably have no clue about sensory processing disorder but ISTJs can often have sensory processing disorder and anxiety and even OCD. Yes. Um, and so can you tell us a little bit about some of that? And you were saying um, that you even have some of that now. I do. Um, with my clothes, it's, I have to dress a certain way. I have to, um, and that things are not out of place. And I, I'm conscious of that now, like no matter where I go, um, I have to make sure that I look I look a certain way. Um, and if, and if I get something and it doesn't look a certain way, I will never wear it again. Just, I won't. And I have, I have observed from the ISTJs I've worked with is that ISTJs are always watching. And so ISTJs think everyone else is watching. Yeah. So you say that that's. Oh yes. I, that's one thing I like to do is I like to people watch. Mm -hmm. I like to, I like to observe how people are, what people are wearing, how they're acting. Um, and then, yes, I turn that around. It's like, you think, okay, so I'm doing this. I'm looking at these people. I'm watching them. And absolutely, if I'm doing it, they're doing the same. So I want to make sure that I am a certain way because, yeah, I, 
I, it's like, I do kind of care what other people think about the way I appear. Yes. And ISTJs do care. There are some types that really don't care. They are just beating to their own drum, Yeah. but ISTJs want to be reputable. They want yes. to, uh, be considered a trustworthy person yes. and they feel like their appearance is a uh, part of that. Yes. Um, so how would you say that, um, just being sensitive in your five senses, how else does that play out? There's certain things that just kind of bug me mm -hmm. <laughs> or chewing gum, like the wrong way. It just, I, I yeah, I, I, I notice that about people. Mm -hmm. Um, smells. Yes. I, um, I do not like very potent perfumes. Mm-hmm. Um, it drives me insane. Um, so, You're noticing yeah. these strong, strong language here, people. So they, <laughs> these, they, they really do um, very sensitive to these yes. things in your five senses. And, um, and so it's important to know that with your ISTJ child, that they're probably not exaggerating if they don't want to wear this mm -hmm. pair of jeans or this shirt or would you say that when you were a child, you comfort was number one for how you dressed? Did you? Yes. Yeah. I did not dress to impress. Um, I, I was, I was making sure that I was covered and comfortable. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so. And so now um, we talked a little bit about introverted feeling being in the back seat. So that also means that you don't like feeling vulnerable. You do not like mm -hmm exposing any kind of weakness. Yep. You said it perfectly. Um, I don't, I don't like to feel like I can't do something. Um, I don't like asking people for help. Mm. Um, I want to, I want to do everything on my own. I, I truly want to be independent all the time. So if I have to ask somebody for help, um, it's very hard. Um, and I will do everything in my power not to ask for help mm -hmm. until I absolutely have to. So, Talk yes. to parents about, you know, giving their children that have introverted feeling um, some kind of outlet to express those feelings like music or art, or you said you coped a lot by walking, um, mm -hmm. just being in nature. Um do you know how, are there any ways that you feel like you were kind of expressing your feelings in an intangible way, as opposed to words? Like I was angry. I played my music loud, uh, and angry, <laughs> angry music. Um, uh -huh. and, and when I was happy or you know, good, my music was completely different. It was more toned down. Um, you know, so the music very kind of helped you express yes. what you had difficulty expressing in words. Yes, absolutely. 